Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it it, it it's always interesting because there's there's different levels. Of, the reason I ask the question the way I do is because it evokes different levels of 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 what people bring to forward. So you brought two very different levels of story, and I think that's great. That's actually a really important thing to understand is that there are different levels at which these things operate, in which humans operate, and and collectively we need to understand there is a sort of collective mind about these. There is a reason we call it community, and you know it mm -hmm. it, it it does operate at those multiple levels, and and it is valuable to understand those stories and say, oh okay, you know one conflict can be so intense, and it can be intense in ways that, you know, like you say, mediation is a different beast than than you know, justice committee or restoration or whatever, yeah. you know, there, there's, there's different processes. I, I ran that also at the village free school is that I, I asked them, I interviewed them at the end of this last season uh, mm -hmm. for this show. And, and, and they were talking about how, you know, when I, when I did, I did some research at their school about 12 years ago, but at that time it was all very formal, you know, right up. It wasn't every day, but it was several times a week. And, and and then they had kind of financial crisis and moved to into a basement of a church like you did. And then they've moved again since, and or actually twice since. And so the formality drifted away. Like that was just, uh, the formality wasn't working and they had a very small basement. Uh, sounds like you have a big basement. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but nice. they had a small basement <laughs> in the church. Uh, and so they found that nothing could wait. Like you had to deal with it right now or, or it was just ruining everybody's day. So, so they... A consequence of that is that they, they, as a community, develop skills. They develop skills to handle conflict in different ways. And uh, the thing that was, I found curious was uh, because I was, you know, hadn't, hadn't talked with them in a while, I found out that, that the formality piece came back uh, after a while, uh, hung around for about a year, and then went away again. <laughs> so so right. once again, it's, it's really emphasizing that fluidity, that who's here, what's working, what isn't. And, and I think that's a, that's a really, you know, that's something that that I don't know that that is there. There's not a common understanding I I haven't seen about about how what it means to have be that fluid as an organization. Is it, there's there's this very interesting tension between what's stable and what changes because human beings need both, yeah. <laughs> uh, especially when it's a changing community uh, that, that people come and go every year, and so then you you know then there's things that are stable. And and it's a really, it, it, you mentioned it before, sort of ideologically or dogmatically, saying this is who, you know this and not this. And it's like well, okay. But I think a lot of community communities are realizing that the that dogma doesn't serve them very well, particularly right. around, you know, any particular tool that they might be using to their community. Like at Village Free School, there's three rules that they never change: take care of yourself and others, take care of the stuff that the, everybody owns and then remember that your freedom ends where somebody else's begins. So it's pretty, <laughs> pretty basic stuff. So, so yeah, I think it, it's really interesting to, to get a, you know, take a broader perspective and, and understand different levels at which it's, it's working. Yeah. This is the agentic schools vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.